A new regime is here in Indianapolis. What's going on, bottom line viewers? It's Mitch here, here to give you my record prediction for the Colts in 2023, determining how many games they will win this season with a rookie quarterback and a new head coach. Will the Colts be good? Will the Colts surprise? Will the Colts need another year to improve? Will they show promise? How will their season go in 2023? That's what I'm here to tell you. But let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know how many games you think the Colts will win and if they'll make the playoffs in 2023. Gronk spike the like button and let's go. The Colts are easily one of the most confusing teams entering 2023 because when I look at their depth chart, they certainly don't feel like a team that I would project to pick in the top five next year. But when I think about what they should be this year based on having a rookie head coach, being in a transitional phase having a rookie quarterback that lacks a ton of NFL experience, I see a team that should be picking in the top five, but I don't really know. Given their division, given their schedule, there's a lot of wild cards. It's kind of similar to how I feel about the Texans. I feel these teams have reason to be optimistic. I feel there's reason to have hope as a fan. But I don't know if it's all going to take place during 2023. I think you're going to see flashes. I think you're going to be competitive. But I don't think it's going to result in wins. So let's go through the schedule and let's break that exact logic down. So let's begin with week number one. I'm going with Jacksonville, okay? I think they're going to win the division. Trevor Lawrence... Doug Peterson versus a rookie quarterback and a rookie coach, at least most likely. I think your best opportunity to actually win this game would be to start Gardner Minshew. And yes, it has everything to do with the fact that Gardner Minshew was a Jacksonville quarterback and he essentially was replaced by Trevor Lawrence. But I do think there's a motivational factor to that where I would be like, yeah, let's go. Like the Colts would be in it. Like they would be fired up. So I actually think starting Gardner Minshew would not be a bad idea, at least for week one. But hey, that's just my idea. Week number two, you play the Texans. I think you're going to win this game. The reason for that, I think the Colts have less to prepare than the Texans. Like, the Colts have more veteran, known commodities on their roster from offense to defense. Yes, both teams have a new coaching staff. The Colts only have half the ball that's kind of new because Gus Bradley sticks around on defense. And then Richardson is a quarterback that, unlike C.J. Stroud, who's a pocket passer based on timing, based on progressions, based on accuracy, those things take time to hone in on at the NFL level. Reading defenses, all that stuff. Richardson can play and just be an athlete, and even though he won't be an effective passer, in my opinion, he can get away with it against teams that are maybe worse than you. So I think the Colts should win this game. Week three, again, elite team, Ravens on the road, Lamar Jackson, John Harbaugh, great defense, not winning this game. Week four, the Los Angeles Rams. This is a game you could very well win. But I think early in the season, the Rams will be healthy. They're a, a top heavy roster. They got Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, Aaron Donald. That's pretty much it, <laughs> right? Well, and they got Sean McVay, okay? Big factor. So I think just them having those four human beings will allow them to win this game, honestly. Like in comparison to, okay, who you want? Matthew Stafford and Sean McVay or Anthony Richardson and Steichen? Like, I don't know, you tell me. Even though the Rams, I don't think, will be very good, I think that's why they win this game. Week 5, I've got the Titans. Again, Mike Vrabel owns the Colts. I think even Colts fans would agree with that. But 
Titans have a tough defense. I think that's going to be a lot to overcome. Not to say the Colts can't beat the Titans this year, though. Definitely can, at least once. So leaving that open for debate. Week six, I got Jacksonville. I think sweeping you guys this year. I mean, could they, could the Colts beat you, uh, the Jags? Yeah, but I think Jacksonville is going to take that step into, they're not just the best team in the division. They're actually like legit, like 11 wins or something like that this year. Like they're a legit playoff team. They're not just a team that won a bad division. They're like legit. So I think Jacksonville will win at home. After that, this is kind of a sneaky game. But I expect Cleveland to win. I think, again, Cleveland's a team that can make the playoffs. I had them projected for double-digit wins. If Deshaun Watson is anything close to what he was in Houston, they've got the best offensive line, arguably, in the league. Maybe them or Philadelphia. They've got a great defensive line, adding Zadarius Smith and Dalvin Tomlinson to Miles Garrett. They improved their secondary. They improved their defensive coordinator. They've got a good receiving core. They've got Nick Chubb. They're basically what the Colts want to be. That's basically what the Browns are on paper, not necessarily in terms of success, but like on paper roster building standpoint, that's kind of what they are. The Saints, this is a game that I think you'll win. I think you're going to pull off an upset here, beat the Saints. The Saints struggle with mobile quarterbacks and Steichen was in Philadelphia with Jalen Hurts and they beat the Saints a couple years in a row just simply through Jalen Hurts' mobility. So I think that's going to be the case in this game at home. Could you beat Carolina? Yes, but I think Carolina Bryce Young is going to be a more mature quarterback, less mistakes. The game's in Carolina. I think Carolina probably will have the better defense, but it's close and it's a Frank Reich revenge game. So I'm going to take Carolina. Patriots, I think are going to win the Germany game. Bill Belichick versus a rookie quarterback. Then you got a bye week. I think the Bucks. this is a game that you can win. I think the Bucs will win unless they're starting Kyle Trask. Baker Mayfield's still the starter here. I'm going to take the Bucs. The reason for that is Todd Bowles' ability against mobile quarterbacks. It's the op- exact opposite of the Saints. I think the Bucs do a great job. The Saints don't. And that's my reasoning for that. Can you beat them? Absolutely. Especially after a bye. So we're going to go over all the swing games at the end. But this is one of them. The Titans. I think the Titans are going to sweep you guys. I do. They typically do, so why not? Week 14, I'm going with Joe Burrow. Week 15, I'm going with Mike Tomlin and a veteran defense versus a young quarterback. Week 16, you play the Falcons. This is a game you can win, but I'm going with the Falcons. I think the Falcons are a sneaky, decent team. And then I actually think you beat the Raiders because you beat them last year. And also, the game's at home. And then also, their defense isn't very good. So I think you can move the ball against them. And then the Texans, I think you split with the Texans. C.J. Stroud will beat Richardson once. So, I've got you guys at uh, four, three or four wins. And I'm seemingly missing one of the wins. Which, Which one did I have? So, this is where you could be kind of like up for debate. So, the one that I have scheduled is I actually have you beating the Jags. And because you beat the Jags usually once per year, like even last year you beat the Jags. So, I think I'm going to go with that one, but it was between the Titans and Jacksonville. So, kind of up for debate. You're going to beat the Titans or you're going to beat Jacksonville. One of them, but not both of them, I think. So, that's kind of where I have you at 4-13 and 13 this season. And again, it's going to be a lot more competitive than that. Like, I think your roster's good enough. I think your coaching's good enough. I really just don't trust Richardson as a rookie. Like, I think he's extremely raw and he's going to have to learn a lot. And that is my primary reason. I think your defense is solid, but it's not good enough to carry a team. And I think your offensive supporting cast, the offensive line to me is a little overrated. The receiving core is okay Obviously, you have Jonathan Taylor. I could be totally wrong about the Colts. Like, I'm upfront and honest. This is my opinion of what I see this year for you guys. But I am totally open to be wrong here. Like, I could be totally wrong based on how good Steichen is, how good Richardson is. Obviously, the two biggest factors in the NFL, coach and quarterback, okay? 
And then you're talking about some swing games, okay? So obviously, both the Texans games are swing games. I think you'll lose to Jacksonville at least once. I think you'll lose to the Ravens. The Rams is a swing game, although if they're healthy, I think they'll beat you guys. The Titans, you could beat once. The Browns, I think, will win. Um, The Saints is a swing game either way. The Panthers is potentially a swing game. The Patriots, I think, will beat you guys. The Bucks is a huge swing game. That's probably the one that, you know, maybe you guys win. The the Steelers is also one, I would say, but I kind of just lean towards Mike Tomlin and the Raiders and the Falcons games. So there's a bunch of them. Like I said, I think your ceiling is probably like 8, 9, 7, and 10. I don't think you're making the playoffs almost no matter what unless Trevor Lawrence gets hurt or something like that. Uh, But... I think probably the likely range is between four and seven wins. Three, no, three and seven wins, I'll say. So that's my opinion. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. If I'm nuts, if I'm accurate. This was a tough one because I, I hate just giving losses to teams and having to explain all of them. But I got to give you the truth, the honesty. That's why you're here for the BLV. And I appreciate you watching another full video. Gronk spike the like button. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.